Welcome to Trinity United Methodist Church. Woohoo! I'm Catherine Insera. I'm the director of Family Ministries. On behalf of the entire staff of Trinity Church, uh, I'm here to welcome you to our seventh annual Meet Us at the Manger Live Nativity. How many of you saw a donkey outside? How many of you saw some sheep? Did anybody see a camel? Well, I am so glad that you had a chance to see these animals outside. We're really grateful to have them bless our aisle today because they will be coming inside. We're here to kind of participate in this story of Jesus' birth in a different way. We got a lot going on on our busy schedules outside, but in here, in here, we get to use our religious imagination and imagine a couple thousand years ago when Mary was told she was going to have a baby. Joseph married her. They had to travel to Bethlehem. It was a dirty time. It was a stinky time. Think about all those animals. A lot of bare feet. This evening, we are meeting at this manger once again because this is the season when we're waiting for that light to grow in the darkness, that in-breaking light, the light of Jesus Christ. So we gather here at this manger. You're invited to use your religious imagination. You get to sing the carols. Together we get to pass on those carols to all the next generations. That's so important. We get to do that here. We get to hear the story. We get to hear our young people sing. It's just all good. So before we start, if you need to use a restroom, that's important. Out this door over here. You'll find a women's room and you'll find a men's room. That's good. If you have a child who just didn't get the nap and you just want to walk with that child, absolutely, same door, and then come back in. It's a beautiful thing to have so many children here right now. Afterwards, we're having cookies and punch out that door. So right now, I'm going to ask you to turn off your phones. Let's unplug from media and plug into the manger. I invite you to open your hearts to sing these songs and listen to this story anew and delight, just delight in this story. Are you ready? Story on. Hi, I'm Pastor Brian Smith, and on behalf of the people of Trinity Church, we are glad you're here. We also worship every Sunday morning at 8.30 and 10.30, and I also want to invite you to one of our Christmas Eve candlelight services. We're offering three this year, five, nine, and 11. But tonight we are going to encounter an old story with angels and shepherds, wise men, Mary and Joseph, a whole menagerie of animals, and of course the star of the show is Jesus, whose name is also called Emmanuel, which means God is with us. And so, as we prepare for this story tonight, let us pray. O oh, loving God, this is our prayer. Help us to remember the birth of Jesus and keep him in our hearts so that we might share the evergreen song of the angels, the gladness of the shepherds, and the worship of the wise men, all for the sake of your love. Amen. <laughs>
2,000 years ago, the angel Gabriel visited a young girl named Mary. The angel explained to her that she was to carry the baby Jesus, the Son of God. Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary, do not be afraid, for you have found favor with God. You are with child and will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great, and he will call the Son of the Most High. His Father in heaven will give him the, the throne of his father David, and he will rule over the land of Jacob forever. There will be no end to his kingdom. But how can this be as I am a virgin? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. And this holy being will be born, and he will be called Son of God. God makes no exception. Even his, sister, his cousin Elizabeth, who was said to be barren, is now at her old age, and she's giving birth to her first child. The Lord makes no mistake. He is always there for you. Now go, Mary, go. God is with you. I am a servant of the Lord. May it be in the name of heaven. At that time, Mary got ready and hurried to a town in the hill country of Judea, where she ended, entered Zechariah's home and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby le leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Sleeping 
child you're holding is a great In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up to, from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and the line of David. He went there with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. Because of so many travelers for the census, the inns were full. There simply was no place for Mary and Joseph. Finally, a kind innkeeper let them stay in his stable. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn.
And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to the shepherds, and the glory of the Lord shone all around them, and they were terrified. Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be sh shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger.
the sky, there appeared a beautiful four-pointed star. It led the Magi to the manger and to our Lord Jesus. King of Thersius, and I bring myrrh. And when the wise men had worshipped the Christ child, the angels rejoiced, saying, Glory to God.
This is truly a beloved event here at Trinity. And at this time, our ushers are getting in place because in order to host these beautiful animals and creatures of God, uh, it costs, um, oh, about $1,400. But it's worth it because we get to come to the manger and remember the reason for the season. So this is just a time of donation, a free will donation to help support bringing the animals back next year and perhaps to purchase a camel for a family in poverty through, uh, I'm not kidding, Julie, I'm not kidding. Um, we can actually purchase a camel for $200 through Save the Children. A camel helps children in poverty get over the hump. I know. We delight in this camel, right? We love it. And we're blessed. So we want to bless a family that we don't know who they are by purchasing a camel. So this is a time of donation. We have beautiful Trinity members coming down the aisle. That you are able to give. We are grateful. And we get to listen to a beautiful voice from Julia Davids to sing O Holy Night. So please enjoy the words. Open your hearts. And as you are able, give to this event.
you chose to meet us at the manger today. Thank you for coming. Isn't it wonderful to see the story of Jesus' birth come alive? Please enjoy cookies and punch in the parlor in that hallway over there. <laughs> now, let's sing, really sing, joy to the world as a sign of joy, truth, hope, and promise for our world. 